This is just a friendly reminder of the tools you're going to need. You're going to need body slide. You're going to need NIF scope. You're going to need the creation kit. And you're going to probably need an archive instructor to get the vanilla helmets out of the archives. Uh, BA2 for Skyrim, I'm pretty sure. Skyrim Special Edition. Those are the things you're going to need. So three, you're going to see you need body slide, NIF scope, creation kit, and a BA extractor. Right? Make sure you have those tools. If you haven't got them yet, Google what I just said. I should have been should have their names in the description or their links or whatever. Um, not the creation kit's link. That's just what you need. Hopefully you enjoy. All right. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to add your custom hair to a, a, a helmet. Uh, maybe for your character or a unique follower, something where you can see the character's hair under the helmet. It's going to be unique to them. It's not going to work for every hairstyle, especially for every mod hairstyle. You, you won't have the time to do that. Um, well, I don't know how to exactly add those hairstyles to the vanilla helmet. So, there's two things you're going to need. You're going to need um, a mesh extractor, like a, like a BEA extractor to get the vanilla helmets out, um, Of if you're using vanilla helmets. Um, something to extract the meshes from the archives. You're going to need body slide. Um, and you're going to need to download the hair mod you want. So I have KS hair dolls, so I just installed it. And it's in meshes. So firstly, just so we've done that, if you haven't done that, pause and we'll get to it. Alright, so first we're going to import the NIFs. So, um, let's do Elvor. Uh, I think it's Elvor. KS Hedos. EI. Add both these two. The hair and the hairline. Alright. File. Import. NIF. Now, the helmet. Wherever you put the helmet, maybe it's in its default thing. I'm just using this for example. Boom. Done. Alright. So, we're going to highlight both these S, you know, these hairstyle meshes. And we're going to basically use this up here. So, top left corner, you see the mask vertical to prevent from being transformed. We're going to highlight that. And we're just going to go over anything that goes over the top of the helmet. It could be a lot more cleaner if you want. You know, make sure we preserve everything inside of here. But doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it because the character's head's going to be there. Alright. Now, sorry, what I did right there, I hit, I, hold, I held down control and I hit I. Make sure you do that. So, it comes back to looking like, you know, you have not done that and everything else that's black. Then you want to right click on those two meshes and delete the cavities. Boom. Alright. So, I've done that. So, I have a secondary check. Now, for the sake of just doing this to make sure it's done proper, we're going to load a reference, go up to file, top left, load reference, boom. Then we're going to basically go to slutter, conform all, let it run its course, delete the reference, and save your project. Save project as, file name, uh, file, uh, the mesh name, project name and where you want the mesh to be when body slide runs it. Now open up body slide, if you've ever got open up beforehand, delete it, reopen it and load it as a character's um doesn't really matter what preset you're loading in to be honest with you, it's, it's only the helmet and the hair. So you're gonna get two of uh, these helmets. It doesn't really matter um, as far as I'm concerned. You just want to add this hairstyle so your character can use that helmet. Now we're gonna go into the creation kit and then we're gonna do that. So we're gonna add it to the game. Well First we have the creation kit also. Obviously you need the creation kit. And I'll show you how to make it standalone. Like I say this, this helmet right here, I'll make a standalone iron helmet just for the character or the follower that you want to give that hairstyle to. Now I've got the meshes right here, helmet. So make sure you got NIF scope and the latest version of it. It's another very important tool. You have two versions, you probably don't even need them both, but when you click on the hair, you want to make sure it's under a certain thing. So we're gonna click on that, boom, open that up, open this up, click on that. No, it's not that one. It's this one right here. Nope, it's this one right here. Yep. Alright, so click on BS Lighting Shader Property. And you want the Skyrim shader right here to be hair tint. So it will automatically do it. It does it for me, but if it doesn't, you're going to want to change that to hair tint. And so that is for, because it's a hair, you don't want it looking like it's default colour. You want it to match the colour of the player or the NPC, whatever tint they've got. Alright, so as we can see, we've got Anska right here. 
This is a hairstyle. I'm just gonna boom, copy that. I'm gonna go to Iron Helmet. I'm just gonna give it a new name. Whoops. So we're making it a standalone, so it's not going to replace the Iron Helmet. Give the base idea a new name, give the add-on a new name. Now down here, we hit female. Now, I don't have the, the things actually in the game, so I'm just going to follow it to where, where I put the meshes. Um, oop, wrong one. Dawnstar. Helmet. Alright. Boom. Okay that. Okay that. Yes, I'll make a new one. Right click here, go new. Put in the new one. Delete the old one. That's not right. <laughs> My bad. Don't follow the Argonian one. That will only work for Argonians. Okay, okay. Now right here, there's always different options for different like open face helmets for the different races. Make sure you click show all. Boom, open that one up. And there you go, you got it to go. And let's add it onto her head. And see if it matches her hair colour. And then we'll check it out in game. Just gotta remove her inventory. As you can see right there, it looks kind of brown, but we can't really tell on the creation kit because there's not much lighting shader. So we're going to jump into game, and we're going to have a look. Alrighty, so here's a woman in question. The mod I'm using to basically manipulate what she wears is called OSA. Um, it kind of helps me check their items and stuff like that. So, we're going to just put a bag on. And as you can see, she now has the helmet. And if... Um, Let's give it to her. As you'll see, she'll have the exact same hairstyle the helmet has, but the hair will be black, as you can see. So, um, make sure that in the mesh folder that is <coughs> set for the hair tint because you don't want it um, looking like it's default colour. So the hairstyle will match. The hair colour will match the user. But the hairstyle will not. Alright. So I hope that's helped with adding custom hairs. Because I do that with characters. I make a lot of characters and sometimes if I was not to use that, if I was to use an ordinary iron helmet, if I can get one for you real quick. Iron helmet. I don't know which one, so I'm just going to use it in charge one. This is what it would look like for her. As you can see, her hair is gone. Oh, let's put the helmet back. And you, you don't want that. Because it looks stupid. Let me just reset it for a second. Make sure I do that while I'm not looking at the breast. So, it's just a really cool little thing to do, if you like me, you like building characters or like outfitting your followers, you can now have them have their original hairstyle and the helmet for protection, because a lot of this time, for the last year and a half, I've been just making characters look like this without any head protection, and that kind of is unimmersive, you know, like, I kind of want them to be protected, if they've got short hair, then that's great, but if they've got long hair like this, it's kind of braided and look like a warrior, it's kind of sucks if they've got like a helmet that looks like this, this is disgusting, so what happened to the hair, where'd it go? <laughs> So, um, now, now you can do that. And I hope this has helped. If it's helped, like, subscribe if you want. I do other videos on my characters um, and my tutorials. I'm all little different sorts of shit in Skyrim related. Sometimes it's other stuff related, but very rarely. Anyway, let me guys.
I've learned something. I'm out of here. Have a good one.